Welcome to the CQ Blind Hams YouTube channel. The place where you can find audio demos of radios and other equipment that is accessible to blind amateur radio operators. Hi, this is Kelvin Marsh, M08 AID, recording for Active Elements. I'm looking at the Linear Amp UK Gemini HF1K. It's a solid state one kilowatt amplifier. The width is approximately 38 centimeters. The height from the table approximately 25 centimeters and the depth 39 centimeters. The rear panel is pretty straightforward. There are three antenna socket, one input socket, a PTT socket, an Ethernet connection that goes to your router and that allows you to use speech support. More on that later. And also there is the cable to the mains. On the front panel, bottom left hand corner is a rocker switch on and off and top right is a touch screen. And initially I had concerns over not having any access to that screen, but in practice it's not been an issue at all. The amplifier is fully automatic, very straightforward to use. With the speech support, it gives you very good access and allows you to interrogate many of the functions of the amplifier. I'm in the shack at the moment with nothing turned on. And I thought it might be interesting to gradually switch items on and then you can hear the amplifier produces very little fan noise and in fact with everything I've switched on you can barely hear it. So the first thing I will do is reach over and turn on my 12 volt PSU and you'll hear my hand pods start up. And immediately you'll hear, if you're wearing headphones, there is a slight hum from the PSU. And the PSU is over on my left hand side, I guess about six feet away. I'm sat in my operating position. My keyboard is directly in front of me. And so if I press the space bar, the PC should wake up. Okay, and the PC is under the bench uh, to my right hand side. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the radio. That's directly to my right hand side. It's an Icon 7851. Okay. That's engaged, that was my hand pod just telling me the icon has switched on if I check the frequency. 14.200 CA. Okay, 14.200 CA means it's in CW mode and it's on VFO A. I'm going to raise the volume very slightly. Okay, so that just gives you an idea of. Okay, to switch to USB, gives an idea of normal. Okay, so there is somebody on that frequency. It's connected to my uh, stepper DB32 at the moment. I'm going to reduce the volume. And I'm going to turn on the amplifier. That's directly to my left hand side. I guess about uh, two feet away from me. Okay, so we heard the relay click. You can hear that the fan noise is negligible and you heard the CWDX. So, with the amplifier in use without the speech software, 
it is extremely straightforward to use. I've got a switch in the PTT line. So the first thing I always do when the amplifier goes on, flip the switch and it breaks the PTT line. So if I go into CW mode on the radio, I can check on the handpod. I can check the power. This gives me a percentage. This is using the handpod again. Power 5%. So 5% power going in. If I check the power using my power master. Forward power is 8.22 watts. Okay, so 8.2 watts. I can check the SWR. SWR is 1.0121. 1 1. So 1.0 1 to 1 SWR. If I now close the circuit with my PTT switch, at the moment I've got a feeling the amplifier is on 80 meters, but as soon as I key up, you'll hear the amplifier switch immediately to 20 meters. You might hear a relay click, and then I can check the power. So I'm just going to key up. Okay, we heard the click, and I will check the power going out, again using the power master. Forward power is 414.62 watts. Okay, 414 watts. I mentioned the touch screen on the front of the amplifier, and when I initially set up everything, I did have some sighted assistance for two things. One was to have run mode as the option when I power up, and then using the PTT switch, I can put it into standby and then back into run mode. And the other item I did was to change the IP address for the remote software. And I changed it to 192.168.1.150. I think I also turned off DHCP. And those were the only changes that I needed to make. As I say, at the moment, I'm using the amplifier without the speech support, and that really is all there is to it. Providing you open or break the PTT line, you can check the SWR, and as soon as you key up or transmit, the amplifier automatically swaps over to the correct band. Next, we'll have a look at the speech support. Now, this was provided by Simon G4ELI. He has remote control software for the visual operator, but I asked him if it would be possible to add speech support, and we worked together over a couple of weeks, and he's added all of the functions that you would need just for the reassurance that the band changes have happened to allow you to manually change the band and to check things like power, SWR, temperature, etc. I'm not using a mixer, as you can probably tell, I'm just using my lapel microphone. So I have turned up the speech uh, slightly from my computer and I'm going to start the speech support or the remote program. I've turned off window eyes, which is my screen reader. So hopefully all you'll hear is the Gemini speech support. So I'm going to turn it on now. Gemini control software. Speech is enabled. Connected to Gemini. 14 megahertz. Antenna 1. Okay, so that's a kind of status switch on message. It tells you the band. Antenna number one is connected, and it tells you it's connected to the amplifier. You can press Control S to get the status of the amplifier. Status is 14 megahertz. Antenna one received. So it said the band antenna one, and said it was in receive mode. We can also check the temperature with Control T. 23 degrees. So 23 degrees. I can check the power 
with control and P. Zero what? And of course it says zero watts. So I'm going to key up and then check the power. 509 watts. Okay, 509 watts. I can also check the SWR with control W. SWR 1.0. So SWR 1.0. Now I can change the status of the run mode and standby mode. If you remember, I've got my amplifier set up so when it powers up it's always in run mode but you can go back into standby mode with Alt and S standby. and if I do Alt and R run. now what's very nice is you can also manually change the band so if I press Control and 2, that gives me 80 meters. 3.5 megahertz. Okay, you heard a click, that's the relay in the amplifier, and then it said 3.5 megahertz. Now, if you remember, the radio is actually on 14.2 at the moment. I'm still in run mode, but the amplifier has switched to 80 meters. All I need to do is just key up, and the amp will automatically switch back to 20 and this time because we're running speed support you'll hear that the band has changed so I'm going to key up now 14 megahertz. there we are so that gives you fantastic reassurance that the amplifier isn't blazing away on the wrong band you know that it has switched over properly one other concern I had with the touch screen was the fact you had to clear error messages once they were triggered. The amplifier goes into a protection mode so you can't continue to operate if the error has been triggered. And I was also concerned that I might not know what the error message was and again Simon has addressed this with the speech support. So what I'm going to do is deliberately adjust the SWR so it's going to be above 2.5 to 1 which is the limit for triggering the error message. So what I am going to do is reduce the power on the radio, so we're not going to do any damage. I've just turned the PTT line to the open position. Power zero percent. Okay, so power is zero. Power zero percent. Power zero percent. Power one percent. So I've adjusted the power to 1%. If I key up, I can check what that actually is in terms of watts. Forward power is 1.76 watts. Okay, so we're going to be putting 1.76 watts into the amplifier. And if I check the SWR... SWR is 1.0221. Now I'm going to adjust my stepper antenna. to take the SWR outside of the range. SWR is 1.4321. Right, let's have a look. SWR is 2.8421. Ah, 2.8. That sounds pretty reasonable. Now I'm going to flip my PTT switch. And I'm going to key up, and hopefully we'll trigger the SWR. Okay, so we heard the alarm, and we're hearing the speech support saying SWR. It says output VSWR trip. Output VSWR trip. And that keeps talking just to let you know what's going on. Now we can clear that with control. Output VSWR trip. And D. Output VSWR trip. Okay, that stopped the trip. Now I'm going to adjust the stepper antenna to take us back down to a good SWR. So 
So we should be back operating. Let me check the power output now. Forward power is 59.19 watts. Okay, 59 watts, and that is with the amplifier because we're putting such a low drive into it. SWR is 1.0021. And we're back to an SWR of 1.021. And basically, I feel fully confident that I can control this amplifier with all the feedback that I need. And I think Simon's done a great job setting up the speech support through his remote software. I'm delighted with the amplifier. I don't think there's anything that I would want to improve. It's very, very straightforward to use. Okay, this is Kelvin M0AID signing off.